Okay, so I've made my way up the uh, Georges River here and we're about to go uh, put this thing alongside a dock. And uh, woof, these guys are hooting, that looks like fun. Um, we can't go talking about the benefits of joystick unless I show you the joystick. So I think it's, um, it's about time. I'm just gonna activate autopilot first before I leave the helm. Dial back the speed a little bit. Okay, let's turn these other cameras on for you so you can get some angles. There's one. There you go. That should be two. So I've got my um, got my rope ready to go because I never step off a boat without being attached to it, particularly when I'm on my own. Um, I'm going to deactivate the autopilot, so put that in standby mode. Turn on the bow thruster, that's two buttons on. Uh, assume control and start to settle the boat down now. I'm just slowing down. Uh, it, I'm not familiar to this area, so I'm happy to just get my bearings a little bit. I've got shallow water there, I've got rocks there, land there, and a little bit of space to maneuver in, not a lot. Uh, I've got tidal movement and some wind from the west, so I'll just bear all that in mind when I'm coming into the dock. Essentially what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, um, position the boat uh, sort of 10 metres or so away from where I want to land the boat alongside the dock. I'm gonna activate docking mode, uh, do a bow thruster test, and then I'm gonna swivel the boat around and slide it in using the joystick so it touches up alongside. Um, when the boat is settled and not bouncing around or moving, I'm gonna try not to let it bounce in the first place, but when it's settled, I'm going to go to the back of the boat, um, step off with that rope attached to a cleat, get the, the, get the ropes that are on the dock and then secure them to the back and then work my way forward so, uh, so the boat's secure. Um, here we are, we're just on final approach. So what I like to do whenever I'm coming into a parking situation, I like to come in and disengage. So just um, put the boat in neutral, settle things down, particularly if you've been driving fast. Um, sometimes you can be unaware of how much speed you still have. So I like to just dissipate all that speed, burn it all off and come in with really no forward momentum whatsoever. I'd much rather stop and park as opposed to park and try and stop. I've seen a few people try that in the past and it doesn't work. So anyway, um, engage neutral, press docking. My hand is now on the joystick. I'm just gonna do a little test. There we go, the jo joystick is operational. So now just using my hand, I'm going to maneuver us into position. And one thing you need to be aware of with these joysticks is when you release your pressure uh, or finger on the joystick and, let, and, and allow the boat to go back to centre, it disengages everything um, quite quickly. So if you just take your fingers off, off the joystick, it will be a bit of an awkward movement. So what you wanna do, you wanna do all your movements very gradual and controlled. And if you think you, you, you wanna stop the boat, slide that joystick nice and gently into the center position. Because you've got to remember there's all these gears and moving parts down the back there. They've actually got to make your finger uh, actions and turn them into boat movement. So that's, that's what's going on. I'm just going, I've got the window open. I'm looking good. I'm lining up with my dock. It's just alongside me now. I'm happy with that. So I got my left hand on the thruster and now I'm just going to slowly walk this boat in. Now, next thing worth pointing out, you'll see my head, my head is now focused on my final destination and I'm not gonna move it one bit because as soon as you take your head off your, your final destination, like it's like a, a landing a plane on a runway, you lose focus and you just end up stuffing things up. So now I'm about uh, 10 meters away and closing. I got my left finger ready on the bow thruster I feel like I'm in good control. I'm just gonna slow that down now, bring the joystick back to center and just drift for a little bit, burn off some of that speed. And now I'm three meters in closing. I'm happy 
because I'm lining up those cleats. Actually, I'm going to come back one meter. There we go. This is the great thing about these joysticks. You can do this minute adjustment here. Okay, two meters in closing, one meter. I'm a little bit further out from the stern. Adjust that with the bow thruster. And three, two, one, touch. There we go. Now, I'm not going to leave the helm just yet. I'm just going to settle the boat. Just feel what's going on. Okay, I feel the wind and the tides pushing me on. I'm going to walk, not run. Grab my rope. Get the loop ready. I'm using the upper of the two cleats and secure that and stepping off with rope in hand. So there we go. In control. Okay. Obviously if it was too hard to pull, I would just go back to the helm, but I'm, it's not too difficult today. I'm just gonna get this one cleat, one rope on. There we go. And now I can get that one on. So the boat's not going anywhere now, so I'll just tidy that up. Okay. And now, so it's that easy. It's, um, it, sh it is not and should not be a stressful procedure. Now I'm just gonna walk the boat back a little bit. Walking it back, just so I come tight on that springer. And I'm gonna go and do the bow line and then I'll sort out the other springers. Okay. Alrighty, so I never, um, I never stress myself out when I'm parking. If I find the boat starts to move and it's more than I can pull with my arms, I just let go. Then I go back to the helm, operate the thrusters or the controls and reset myself. I just, you know, I got two arms, I wanna keep them that way. Don't really feel like pulling my shoulders out of the socket, so to speak. So you never stress yourself out unnecessarily. There we go, that's on, we are secure. Now I've just got to finish off the rest of the job. So, okay, come back to that. I've just got midship springs. I'm going to do them from the dock. Now that the boat is actually secured to the dock, I'm safe to leave the boat and finish the job. This is my forward spring. Okay, so the boat wants to come back a little bit on that. Okay, that's good. And here's my aft spring. I'm just gonna put that on there for now. And that's it, it's that difficult. So I've got one final thing, which I'm uh, gonna do when I switch the camera off. I've got these whip aerials here, so they're designed to hold the boat off the dock. Um, really handy feature on, if you've got your own marina berth, um, it's just great. It means you can have the boat tied up, you can have all your fenders in place, and the boat's never actually touching the wharf. Um, I just think that's a super awesome setup, and I recommend it if you've got your own place. So anyway, single operation, told you it was. So there you go, hope you enjoyed.